You are now listening to Vigilantes Radio, presented by the only one media group. This is the people's choice for quality interviews, celebrities and special guests. Hosted by Demetrius Dinny Reynolds. Call in to join the mix at 701-801-9813. For the complete archive of episodes, visit onlyonemediagroup.com and be sure to like us on Facebook at Vigilantes Radio. We welcome all. Enjoy the show. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host, Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds. Enjoy the show. Yo, what is up? Welcome to another awesome episode of Vigilantes Radio. I am so excited that you guys decided to tune in. There are over 25 thousand of you guys on our phone lines and our chat rooms uh, on the browser uh, Google Hangouts Skype yeah so what's up glad you guys are here uh, we have a special guest today so stick around for that pleasure is a matter of conditioning a teenager smoking her first cigarette doesn't enjoy it at all she's almost certainly doing it to fit in and it probably even makes her a little sick after a while though she likes it so much she finds it hard to quit Uh, i mean not quick but to quit yes cold turkey so it feels good to do it you know that was a popular uh rally and cry during like the sex drug revolution of the 70s and the 60s but what feels good it depends i always tell people pick your poison just make sure you can feel your soul (laughs) at the end right certain people who consider themselves to have refined taste enjoy eating like snails and fish eggs while others are uh, disgusted by the thought of eating such food by nature we want to do what is pleasurable to us and so pleasure is a powerful motivator and this to the fact that pleasures can be learned and you have the potent strategy for achieving your success choose the pleasures that move to move you toward your goals for example there is just as much potential for pleasure in jogging two miles as there is in eating a bag of potato chips the person who is trying to get in top physical shape would be well advised to find his pleasure in the jogging rather than the chips duh Okay, rather than finding ways to serve your pleasures, find pleasures that will serve you instead of taking pleasure and getting drunk, which is actually kind of nice, or sitting in front of TV, that's also kind of nice, and complaining about other people. We don't have time for that. But learn to find pleasure in walking around in the neighborhood, discovering new ideas, finding new and better ways to do your job. Just like everything else in your world, your pleasures are under your control. Use them to your advantage. And going back to like sitting in front of the TV or getting drunk, I do neither one of those, so I don't know why I said it. But if you do that and that floats your boat, hey, is that is that your pleasure? Most certainly. All right. So take that from me, Jenny Mussolini. Like that is mix. my word. Let's get and this started. Word is born. Yo, hello, and welcome to another awesome episode of Inside the Music or Inside the Book inside the business where we dive into the minds of the people who create marvelous things it feels so good to be back with you guys once again so one time one time for my people who are indigos crystalline or star seeds or for my vigilantes audience family and two times for my people who are vegetarian or vegans if you're like me we are averaging over 37 thousand live listeners and we've been at this for four solid years i appreciate all you guys who've been rocking with the kids 
did on this journey and we are still evolving baby it is all because of you most definitely we are the people who have dedicated their lives to music spirituality business literature art movies and research in every aspect and we want to allow you an opportunity to tell your story man we've had celebrities on our show from Grammy Award winning artists to nominees to actors comedians CEOs technology geniuses visual artists from authors to professors and aliens or people who think they're aliens it doesn't matter who you are or where you come from come on our show and talk to me so check it out to book your interview or just to share a real cool story email me at v radio at only one media group.com and that's v as in victor i'm passionate about what i do just as passionate about what you do and together yes together we can get your voice heard by the people who should hear it so let's create something incredible you know the number to dial 701-801-9813 text that number to your buddy right now and tell them to tune in to connect with us or our guests or you can hop in the mix directly from our website only one media group.com right from the home page you can slap that go live button and you'll be right here live in the mix and in the chat room with all of us feel free to shoot over some questions to ask our guests while they are here but only as time permits sometimes my guests and i talk entirely too much and we take up the entire hour and as always all episodes are available for free download and you can grab that from either spricker.com forward slash only one media group itunes youtube or any app from the google play or itunes store or over at our website and that goes for every single episode that we ever aired well tonight's interview is the sean rude interview and i'm your host danny mussolini just in case you guys forgot this is just a quick reminder okay so vigilantes radio our interviews go beyond the music and into the minds of the artists or bands that create it from researching our guests relentlessly mining for details and listening to everything we can our interviews are designed to bring out the best answers possible through thought-provoking questions that have real substance tonight's guest is the one and only sean rude and with that let's go ahead and welcome him to our show sean rude you're now live in the midst with all of us How's it going? Hi, what's up, man? How you doing? Doing good, doing good, man. Man, how you feeling, bro? I'm feeling good, man. I'm out here enjoying this good San Diego weather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not, About uh, a year ago, living, man, and I, I yeah, didn't want to leave. What'd you say? I said, yeah, man, I was, I was out in San Diego about a year ago, man, and I did not want to leave. Yeah, man, I, I get that a lot, man. I'm trying to get out of here. I'm trying to go, go see what's out there more to offer, man. Yes, sir. Well, I hope you get a chance to do that, man. It's a big world out here. Yeah, it is. It is. Where are you at? Where are you in the East Coast? Man, uh, we're based out of Cali in L.A. Uh, oh, but we okay. Have, but like station out here in Mississippi, which is in my hometown. So whenever I'm oh, out yeah? here. Yeah. Deep down that's where I'm at now. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Okay, dirty, okay. dirty yeah, south. Oh yeah, I heard they got some good, good so uh, so food out here, man. Man, what? <laughs> That's why we like the fattest state in in, in the uh, in the country. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real, for real. Yeah, they man. out there eating good. Yeah, bro. So, man, as direct as I can be, Sean, you're an artist who truly commits to your work. Um, how do you back this claim up? Well, I mean, you know, uh. Actually, you know, uh, you know, a, a wise man told me, you know what I'm saying, a man with no plan has no future, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And uh, I came up with, you know, I, <laughs> in my early 20s, I was like, uh, go ahead and try this rapping stuff out. And, you know, my dad was always a rapper, so I tried it, you know, and uh, I got the feedback on my first song, and you know, it was just the feedback that made me, that made me want to do it. Like I didn't do it for myself. Like you know, I realized I'll do this for me. You know what I'm saying? I don't do this music for me. It's for my fans, for people that who keep asking for it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I like, you know, it just gives it gives me it gives me good beats to drop music for people who want to listen to it. You know what I'm saying? Who keep asking for it? 
So yeah, and that's just like my motivation. That makes, that makes that keeps me working. You know what I'm saying? Because they ask yep. for it. You know what I'm saying? So that that just that just makes me keep buying. And then at the end of the day, I'm getting checked for it too. So it's like you know what I'm saying? It's like why not? Right, right. Yep, that makes so, sense. You know, I, I just figured out my formula. And you know, once you figure out your formula as an artist. You figure out how to go about things once you once you figure that all down then you're ready to go yep i gotta agree man what, what was the name of that first record goddamn no uh, your your first oh, ever record my first my first my first first record yep it was called uh why you hating on me ah yeah it was like a why you hating on me song and everybody i just remember everybody me personally i thought it sucked like uh, I don't know if you ever did something like me as an artist I always do songs and I'm like man it sucks man. And everybody else was like nah man that's hot you tripping <laughs> I'll be like uh, yeah you know that, <laughs> that, that's because right, you, maybe, you grew yeah you, you yeah, grew you know, I, it's, it's a lot it's a lot of songs though still to this day that I do I'm like man I do it I'm like man I don't like this song everybody else was like man that's hot hmm. you know and so Basically, you know, yeah, it'd be a lot of songs that people, you know, might not, <laughs> might not like or might like, and you know, it's just opinion, you know. I said one, a song might be trash to one person, but it might be gone to the next. Yeah. Do you ever feel like you should go re-record those songs and add like some a new spin to it, maybe? Sometimes, sometimes I do, but it'd be like too late, you know, or like yeah. you already put it out, and then you like. Damn, I wish I should have did this or did that. You know, right? Yeah. But that's why you really supposed to before you before you put a song out, you're really supposed to listen to it at least about fifty times, make sure everything is right. You know, but I mean, I'm still learning. You know, I'm still learning. It, it, as far as the artist goes, nobody's perfect. So always grow, to grow and change things. You know, and 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 I've I've learned to grow and change. I used to you know rap about. You know, just, just the gang banging. Well, not even the gang banging, but just, you know, the grimy shit. The grimy shit everybody wanted to do and all that, you know. Then I had to switch it up. Like, you know what? Let me switch it up. Let's start talking about stuff that people can relate to and, you know, get some real into into the song and, you know, change it up a little bit, you know, be versatile, you know. Mm-hmm. So that's what I try to do. All right. All right. Cool deal, man. So, let's ask you something to get, like, a real good overall sense of who you are. Your name is Sean Rude, so I, I could imagine, like, you know, your persona. Um, so, I assume that you're you're blunt, you're honest, straight to the point, you know, kind of guy. Right. And that way of viewing life has to come from somewhere. So, what would you say has contributed to the way that you are? I don't, I don't want to say that you're just rude you're like you're tripping old ladies in the street or you know <laughs> <laughs> you're cutting people off in traffic or taking that parking space when you see somebody finna yeah. take it you know I don't, I don't know but they'll be kind of you know living up to the name right Sean Rue but I mean what? not like that but yeah. like, like, like you said what, what inspired to get that name was yeah. yep. the ladies you know the ladies cause like you said I was always up front I was honest me, I was always the type, it would be four of us in a car, and, you know, we would have, <laughs> we would have lady or stuff, one of my homies, lady or stuff, or, you know, and the homie girl hair be messed up, or she ain't got her nails done or something, and we all looking around, and everybody looking, you know what I'm saying, they're thinking it, but I'll be the one to say it, like, man, yeah. what's on with your hair, what's on with your nails, or like, you know what I'm saying, and, yeah. You know, they're like, oh, you're rude, you're rude. Like, they must always talk to rude. Cause, you know, when you're out in public anyway, when you're downtown, you go to the club, ladies know. You know, your, your nails should be on point, your toes, you know, your hair. You know what I'm saying? You, you're supposed to be on point. So, right. you're going out, and, and, and I'm seeing this, and I'm like, man, why you ain't got your nails done? You know, and mm-hmm. they like, you're rude. Like, you know, I'm like, nah, but it's just like, you know, you shouldn't have came out without your nails done. Like, I'm not rude. Like, you know, damn well, you you wasn't supposed to come out. Why are you mad because I said something when you thought I wasn't going to say nothing? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's it. Mm-hmm. That's what separates me from a lot of dudes. A lot of the dudes with sugar coat, they won't say nothing just because they want some. 
You know what I'm saying? Rather than mm-hmm. letting her know, like, nah, look, you're a woman. You got to keep your nails closed on at all times. Yeah, it may sound rude, you know what I'm saying, how I come off, but it's true. And mm-hmm. that's what, what makes me rude is I just the one that will say it. And a lot of these other dudes won't. They'll just sugarcoat it and be quiet about it. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, no, you know and ladies think that's rude. They're like, you're rude. You're rude. I'm like, nah, I'm not rude. I'm just, I'm not finna, you know, I'm not finna let yeah. you walk around thinking it's cool. I'm gonna put you up on game, lady. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let you know. Or all yeah, these other yeah. dudes thinking it's okay. Nah, it's not okay. I'm gonna let you know. Mm-hmm. You know, on several occasions, you know, just, you know, that's just me, you know, and it just stuck on me. A lot of people, you know, you're rude, you're rude, you're rude. I'm like, you know what? I'm finna be sound rude. Mm. <laughs> Well, I take it that you got a lot of experience with that. So I'm going to hit you with a question. It's probably a catch-22, but I just want to see your opinion on it. Now, you know, the homie's got a cold where, you know, you check yourself or you wreck yourself. And if your homie got like a ketchup stain on the shirt, you're like, yo, bro, change that shirt. Cool, cool. But I've had girlfriends in the past where, like, they didn't match or something. I'd be like, yo, did you look in the mirror today? Like, you okay? You feeling good? You know? And then I catch a lot of flack for that, right? I don't get none that night. But then I don't say anything. And then one of their homegirls points it out like, yo, what were you doing today? And she's like, yo, why didn't you say anything? I'm like, okay, should I be honest? Or, you know, should I, what should I do? Because I lose in any scenario. What is your whole approach to that? To where Sean Roos gets on top? Either eat in either scenario. I mean, that's kind of hard. I mean, you can't win. You can't win them all. You know what mm. I'm saying? Yeah. You can't win them all. You know what I'm saying? You know that. You can't win them all. But, you know, my mom always told me, you know what I'm saying, be honest. You know what I'm saying? Tell the truth. <laughs> you know? So, I mean, if, 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 like I said, if I was in that situation, I would tell her. You know what I'm saying? You know, like you said. Because then, like, you do feel bad, like, yeah. I should have said something because I think I heard I look here crazy. You know what I'm saying? But it's it's about appearance. Like I'm not finna have my lady out looking all crazy. Like what the hell? Nah. You know what I'm saying? She's a reflection in me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I don't know. I I don't know. I just I don't know. That's kind of hard. I, I couldn't. I don't know. I, I couldn't lose. You, you you know you can't win them all. But in that situation, yeah, I'm supposed to say you supposed to say something straight up. Straight up. Yep. Straight right, up, man. you're supposed to say something straight up. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you just had to. You know what I'm saying? You just got to. Cause, like you said, I mean, you know, unless you comfortable, unless you comfortable with your lady out like that. Nah. You know what I'm like you don't I care. believe, I believe your lady is a reflection of you, your choices. Right. So therefore, you know what I'm saying? You know, you gotta. Hey, look. They know. They might. You know what I'm saying? They might know that you messing with me, and, and you out here looking crazy. I'm like, that's Sean Rue girl right there looking all crazy. Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then, and I see your girl, I, I see your girl, you know what I'm saying? She was looking crazy. You know what I'm saying? Now, you embarrassed. Now, you like, yep. damn. It ain't even me. You know yep. what I'm saying? It ain't even you, but, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you fuck with her. So now, it's like, oh, man. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Definitely. So, man, you're quoted to say that uh, never let a situation stop you from reaching your goals you can do anything if you put your mind and dedication to it and that's an incredible comment and true insight into like a lot of conversation that I have with many bands and artists when consulting them on how on how to push forward I'm a firm believer that your art should be what eventually kills you in life I'm spending so much time and love and dedication on whatever it may be for anyone and myself I truly don't believe in time all when it comes to doing what you love I mean why wouldn't anyone, anybody want to do that anyway uh, right. but what many artists don't realize though Sean is that the work really doesn't ever stop does it especially in music so here's my question uh, and all this rambling I want to know about how you spend your downtime between like recording new music pushing a project or even uh, the stage life like what do I do to prepare Mm-mm. What, what do you do in your downtime when you're not focus on oh, uh, your music man when I'm when I'm not focused on my music I play football <laughs> I play football right now uh, you know spending time with my fam you know uh, traveling 
you know, uh, I like going hiking and, you know, seeing new new stuff, you know what I'm saying, experiencing new things. You know, I'm like, I, I, I like to get out, you know what I'm saying? I'm not a homebody, so I'm always out. If I'm not working, then, I'm, you know, I'm trying to make some money or I want to have some fun and enjoy my life. Because at the end of the day, you know, when you're mm-hmm. doing this busy, you be wrapped up so much in it and so much to do that, you know, you really ain't got no time to have fun, you know what I'm saying? So... And all, and and, and that's reality, you gotta make every situation fun. Like you know, I remember, I remember when I used to do shows and you know go and you know go go to the clubs and drop my videos at the clubs and stuff. And you know, my chicks used to be like, "Oh, you go out every weekend," you know. Now, mm-hmm. now, mind you, that's not my type of fun. You know what I'm saying? That's business. That's something yeah. I have to do. You know what right. I'm saying? I have to go to the club and I have to promote and I have to shake hands, see DJs, you know, meet other artists. That's something I have to do. That's not mm-hmm. me having fun. You know what I'm saying? I'm not having fun, you know, and they used to get that mixed up. They used to, oh, you're going to the club every week and this. And I'm like, no, nah, that's not me. Like, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't fun to me. You know what I'm saying? I don't right. like going to the club. Like, you know, that wasn't me. I'm not no club guy. Just every Man. week at the club. Like, now nah, I was an artist. I had to. You know what yep. I'm saying? And, and people don't realize you going, you as an artist, you going to the club every weekend, and you losing value because mm-hmm. for one, if if you blowing up and you going to the club every week, how are they supposed to pay you and you there every weekend? They gonna be like, oh, we boys. You get what I'm saying? That's my boy. I'll have him perform for free instead mm-hmm. of you being away. And they're like, man, how do we get this dude down here to perform? You know what I'm saying? Right. We gotta pay him. We gotta pay this dude. Not because all oh, he here every weekend, so it's cool. Let's throw him the mic and tell him do a couple of songs. Now it's turn. Nah, nah. Let's, how do we get Sean Wu down here? How do we get him out? You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? We gotta pay him. You know what I'm saying? So, sure. but uh, yeah, on, on my on my downtime, man. I'm you know living life, man. You know, smoking, chilling with my partners. You know, trying to travel. You know, doing features. You know, doing a lot of stuff. <laughs> you know, man, I'm uh, glad, glad to hear you living life. I'm trying to, man. You know, uh, I was I was in jail for uh, about three years. I was in prison. You know, so uh, since I've been out, I'm still on parole. So it's it's only so much that I can do. Mm-hmm. But uh, you know, with my time, I, I, I tend to you know try to spread it out and, and you know try to try to do different things and try to stay under the radar, but still do what I gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Because it's kind of hard when you're on parole to move how you want to move. Right. So, yep. you know, I'm just trying to trying to weigh it out, you know. Um. So, Sean, what advice would you give to, like, bands and artists in terms of on how they can help their brand when they have exhausted all of their resources, you know, from pushing uh, their latest project? Because you do have a clothing line. So, uh, yeah, I you mean, pretty much know about it, branding. It, yeah, you can't never give up, you know? Don't never give up, you know what I'm saying? Don't never give up. Don't never give up. Can't never. Because, you know, it's, it's a lot. Um, you got to think about it. Uh, I remember, uh, what was it, uh, Facebook? Facebook um, tried to partner up with MySpace a long while back, and MySpace denied it. And, and, and uh, now look where Facebook at and look where MySpace at. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So, you know, you just gotta you just gotta remember like, you know, people might push you down but you gotta you gotta still keep climbing, you gotta still keep going. Think about how many people put put down Jay Z, how many people put down Nipsey Hustle and they kept going and they really own all their rights to everything, like you know what I'm saying, their own shit, you know? So mm-hmm. and it's just it's just about being a firm believer and standing tall. A lot of people fold and that's how they end up getting, you know, messed over in, in, in the long run. But as long as they just keep pushing, you know, and stay true to yourself and what you believe, you know what I'm saying? Then there it is. You know? But they'll never sure. fall short though. They'll never fall short. Keep pushing. Don't ever let nobody take you. You know what I'm saying? What you made and what you what you branded. Don't let. Don't never let nobody take that. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Ever. Ever. Yep. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Yes, sir. You have any shows booked for the rest of this year? Um, nah, I haven't. Um, I really been trying to focus on getting off parole first. 
Yeah. Why I've been, you know, I've been trying to uh, just get off a roll and make sure this is straight first. Uh, How long have you got? Um, November. I was supposed to get off this month, but they pushed me back. They said no, they denied. So wow. November. Yeah. Okay. It's hard, man. Hard. And I've been I doing imagine. good too. They told me all I need to do is get a job to get off. I can win, got a job and all that. Still ain't let me off. So wow. You know. Yeah, they're not playing. You know, once they get a hold of you, they don't they ain't trying to let go. Yeah, yeah. Man, oh, another another uh, <laughs> hot button issue is once songs are released, like your song, Goddamn, um, how much time should an artist spend supporting them? The, you know, like the answers and theories I've heard, so, you know, a lot of them. Man, it's, it's a lot of different ones. You know, some people push their single for about a year and it blow up, like, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's a lot of songs that we hear on the radio. Now, like the Shy Glizzy song, like, you know what I'm saying? That was CC Money all around me. That one, that was like two years ago. People don't mm-hmm. even know that. That was two years ago, but it just blew up. Like, you know what I'm saying? So really, it's, you know, it, it really ain't no time frame. I mean, you know, it, I, I, like Soulja Boy. Soulja Boy, for his song, had blew up. It was a couple couple years before it had blew up. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So yep. it really, it's just really on you. You know what I'm saying? Really, how long you want to push it? You know what I'm saying? If you really got a hit, you, you know you could do something with it. Keep pushing it. Keep pushing it. Keep see where it goes. You know, you can always elevate. Come with an next one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, really, really, you know, it's, everybody's different, too. Everybody has connections. Everybody has different different avenues and different ways of doing things, you know? So, I can't really, you know, say that my, my method might not work for the next person. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? But then again, it might. So, you know. Just whatever they do, you know what I'm saying? Just stay true to themselves. Keep buying them. Definitely, man. So we may be getting kind of personal here, but uh, 2015, you were released from confinement, you know? And I know that can be rough for a career, and more importantly, for family. Yeah, the end, the end of 2015. Yep. Yeah. Wow. But what I want to know about is... What did it do to your mind, your thought process? You know, where was your headspace the day you went in, in between, you know, serving your sentence and the day you received your freedom back? Man, so my mom, my mom was in my head heavy. I was turning myself in because I was on the run. And uh, they were going to her house and my baby mama house. They was going to their house every day looking for me, every day. Wow. So, yeah, it was like, it was like havoc and you know, she was she was like saying, like to come every day, your sister's scared, like, you know, like, come on, what are you doing? Like, you know what I'm saying? She like, just go get it over with. Mm-hmm. And I was like, man. So I took like three weeks, I was like, man, let me get myself together, I got a lawyer and I turned myself in and I just remember turning myself in, I was like, Damn, why'd I do this? Like, you know? Right. Wow. And then, you know, towards the end, towards towards the beginning, like, you know, I had I had with the trial I lost a trial. I didn't know how much time I was looking at. So I went to trial. My lawyer kept telling me, you know, I'm going to beat the case. I'm going to beat the case. She had all my family come. And I didn't, you know what I'm saying? I didn't beat it. They didn't let me out. They smacked me with three years. Wow. When they smacked me with three years, I, was, I, I ain't going to lie. I was low-key, like, kind of hurt. Like, I was kind of like, damn, like, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. I wasn't, and I wasn't hurt at the time. You know, I was just so, I was so hurt that, my lawyer made me bring all my fam and friends like you know what I'm saying I'm finna get out and then mm-hmm. it crushed everybody else you know what I'm saying that's what, that's what hurt me you know what I'm saying like I was good but everybody else hurt is what hurt me you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying and you know I'm like damn you know so I'm like damn you know it was like you know I was like damn you know what I'm yeah. I had already did a year I'm like damn I gotta do I gotta do another two I'm like oh, yeah. damn you know it's like I went tripping, but like I said, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, I had just started my rapping. Everything was going good. You know, I'm mm-hmm. every, all my fans, everybody's waiting for me to come home. I like, yeah, and then, you know, it was like, and then I, I kind of felt like, man, I'm going I'm to lose my buzz. I'm going to lose my followers. Like, you know what I'm saying? Three years mm-hmm. long time, I'm like, damn, I'm going to lose everything. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because I've seen it happen before rappers go 
go to prison, you know what I'm saying, or go to jail or something, they come back and they fall off. Like, you know yeah, I mean? man. So I'm just like, I'm like, ah, oh, man. I'm just thinking about everything. I'm like, man, I'm going to lose my career that I just started popping. I'm going to downtown every week. We performing. We open up for big names. Like, you know, we doing it big. And then, boom, I get locked up. Hmm. Well, actually, I didn't even get wow. locked. That's the thing. I didn't even get caught. I got told on. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even get caught on my case. Somebody told on me. Then they put a warning on me. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Two weeks later, my own cousin. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So, yeah, it was kind of messed up, man. Man, so when you on the run, like, was it hard for you to move around? Oh, my gosh. It was so scary. I didn't want to go nowhere. Everywhere yeah. I went, I was so scared. I'm looking over my back. Now, mind you, I had did a robbery, and it, it was kind of, you know what I'm saying? It was kind of hectic how it happened. Like, mm -hmm. you know, so I'm kind of like, ooh, man. You know, they come out, I'm armed and dangerous. You know, it was a oh, bounty man. out. I'm, oh, man. I'm like, oh. They telling my mom they, they might shoot and kill me because I'm armed and dangerous. Like, you know what I'm saying? So my mom's crying every day. You know what I'm saying? Like, son, they going to kill you. I'm like, <laughs> you know, it was crazy. I'm like, man, it's a lot of pressure. Yeah, I could imagine. I could imagine. Oh. Jeez. All right, man. I always dug like the realness you bring and your vibe that you put into your songs, your music in the past. And here again, now you got this new record, Goddamn. I thought the new tune had a magnificent flow, the way you did the vocals, and it really fit the music perfectly, uh, which has got to feel good, you know, because uh, you're telling your truth, uh, as you've been doing since you started. Um, do lyrics always come naturally to you? Uh, yeah. You know, uh, yeah, it's natural. Yeah. Uh, how much just time off you, the head? Or you just go out the off head? Off the head and I'll write it down. Okay, okay. Like, what? what's your I'm, average? I'm more like a freestyle. I'm more like freestyle in my head and then write mm -hmm. it down. Like, you know? Okay. Freestyle in my head and write it down. I write pretty fast. It's like I'm, it's like I'm freestyling, but I'm just writing it down. I ain't mastered how to, you know, freestyle it all the way. And like, you know, I haven't did that yet. I ain't mastered that. But I'm almost there though. I'm almost there. Gotcha. All right, man. And it's crazy because I know a lot of rappers. Like all my friends, they be like, some of them that write, they suck. They mm. suck when they write, but they freestyle hella dope. I'm like, man, why don't you just freestyle? <laughs> You know, yeah. and then vice versa. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Some of my boys hella sucking freestyle, and then you know when they write, they hella dope. Yeah, this is what I did uh, before, and I just started actually. But uh, I would freestyle, and I would get like the uh, the Notepad app on the phone, and I turn on Google uh, microphone or translator, and while I'm freestyling, it would write down what I'm saying. Oh yeah, that's dope. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah, your partners too. try that, yeah. Yeah, that's dope. That's dope. I ain't thought about that. That's dope. All right, man. So beyond the new records, man, what's coming up next for you? you working on a full album, mixtape, new videos. Yeah, I got, uh, what, you, what you got going on? Uh, I got uh, two EPs coming out. Um, one called Cold World with my mm -hmm. brother. Uh, two of my brothers, YP and D Dick. And then um, I also got a little uh, flick tape I got coming out called Rude Awakening. Nice. So that's, that's, they already done. I'm just waiting on the dates so I can drop them. Like, you already had Rude Awakening done, right? Like, a long time ago. Who, me? Yeah. No, nah, I already right. had Rude Awakening. Okay. Uh, nah, right. I put a, uh, like, a little... Like a little regular little, like I put out a, a like a couple songs on one, but it wasn't like no official album, and it wasn't on uh, like it wasn't on iTunes or nothing like that. Like it was just like some when I first got out, just to see like you know if I still had it, if I yeah. still had my fans, if I still had you know. So, but now that I'm now that I'm official and I got my little label and all that, now I'm gonna bring it back and you know do the real one. What's the label called? Uh, I'm signed under Empire. Dope, dope. Yeah, I'm signed under Empire, but I got my own little label, Roadmap. 
All right, guys, after the music break, we'll be back to put Sean Rude in our traditional hot seat to hear either some vocals, poems, spoken word. Maybe he'll drop a freestyle rap for us, tell us a, a story from when he was behind bars, or tell us a joke, or maybe play a live instrument. You never know what these creative minds and vessels were producing in the spotlight. So when we come back, we'll find out if Sean Rude has what it takes to be put on the spot a test of his true artistry and maybe even some hidden talents but for right now we have sean rue with his song god damn we'll be right back god damn why you niggas wanna hate on me god damn why you really never got no weed god damn cam got the fucking hits god damn why these niggas wanna hate on me god damn i see why y'all smoke swishers man y'all sweet god damn you trickin' tree like it's just Halloween. God damn. Why you niggas never got no weed? God damn. Why these niggas wanna hate on me? God damn. I see why y'all smoke swishers, man, y'all sweet. God damn. You trickin' tree like it's just Halloween. God damn. Why you niggas never got no weed? God damn. Why you tryna smoke up on my weed? God damn. Yo, we should never have none of them seeds. God damn. It ain't Gucci sniffing all them cheese. God damn. How you trapping but ain't got no cheese? God damn. How you pimping? Use your sacks or please. God damn. It's the mob, but don't forget to be. God damn. Hey, roll that loud and smoke a couple G's. God damn. How you want the mask but got no weed? God damn. Keep it, honey, don't change up on me. God damn. Why you mad your girl change clothes for me? God damn. You trick and treat like it's just Halloween. God damn. I cut these ziggins off and cut they lean. God damn. Why these ziggins wanna hate on me? God damn. I see why y'all smoke swishers, man, y'all sweet. God damn. You trick and treat like it's just Halloween. God damn. Why you ziggins never got no weed? God damn. Why these ziggins wanna hate on me? God damn. I see why y'all smoke swishers, man, y'all sweet. God damn. You trick and treat like it's just Halloween. God damn. Why you niggas never got no weed? God damn. Smoking all them swishers turn you sweet. God damn. You sit down when you piss, man, that ain't cheap. God damn. You taking all them zannies just to sleep. God damn. You'll sleep forever when you die, just think. God damn. Yo, bitch, if staring at me, she ain't blink. God damn. Mr. Bro, I swept her off her feet. God damn. You can take her back, where's your receipt? God damn. She tryna give me cheeks and I want cheese. God damn. And if she choose, she better bring that fee. God damn. You said your boss is block, I got the key. God damn. My heart is cold, no need for antifreeze. God damn. Yeah, I am a dog, but need no leaves. God damn. Why these niggas wanna hate on me? God damn. I see why y'all smoke swishers, man, y'all sweet. God damn. You trick and treat like it's just Halloween. God damn. Why you niggas never got no weed? God damn. Why these niggas wanna hate on me? God damn. I see why y'all smoke swishers, man, y'all sweet. God damn. You trick and treat like it's just Halloween. God damn. Why you niggas never got no weed? God damn. Oh, yeah, that was Sean Rude with God damn. Man, that record, god damn That was tight, right? Oh yeah, nice vibe The beat was bumping, slapping, whatever you want to call it <laughs> Oh my goodness, man, I love that record Yeah, we definitely will be playing it more All right. So, guys, the biggest obstacle standing between you and anything you want Is your lack of belief that you can have it once you truly believe it is possible, once you can see yourself doing it and being it and having it, the rest is just details with belief plus the commitment to follow through and do whatever it takes. Anything can be yours. What is it that you truly want to do? You can do it. Realize that you are as capable as any person. See yourself doing it. Touch it. Hear it. Taste it. Walk inside of it. Drive around it believe in it and believe that it is yours everything you need to get there is available to you when you believe and you commit to getting there know that you can do it nothing can hold you back once you have belief and commitment because you will find a way 
You can do it, I guarantee. You. Take that from me, Denny Mussolini. That is my word, and word is bond. Let's bring the man of the hour back on. Sean Rule, you're back live with us in our hot seat. What do you have for us? Man, I'm gonna bust this little, this little rhyme for y'all, big dog. Nice. I'm gonna bust this little rhyme for y'all. You ready? Ready. Alright. Hey, right. don't get plucked, fuck on my chicken. Hey, just finish all of my dinner. Hey, foreign cars, man, ready? Hey, we don't see you haters, the windows tinted. Hey, nigga, you can't be ballin' in the Civic. Hey, you trippin' off them bars, but not them lyrics. Hey, you ain't gotta steal me, bro, I'll just give it. Hey, you hold the hands to your feet, or I'm just trippin'. Hey, this guy gave you them ears, you still don't listen. Just soak up a little ism and pay attention. Hey, dirty sprite just slowed up my vision. Hey. I'm still focused on money and I go get it. On a game. This gave you that trap, you went and spent it. Hey, bro, gave you that truly, you ain't bent it. Hey, bitch, I don't do no arguing, just send it. Hey, hope my bros ain't cost me like a pendant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Sean Rue, oh, man. Let everyone know where they can connect with you at on the web. Man, so on Instagram, you can uh, follow me at I'm Rude, you bitch. I am R U D E Y O U B Y T C H. That's I'm Rude, you bitch. And um, on Snapchat, it's Sean Rude, S H A W N R U D E. Um, on Facebook, it's Sean Rude, S H A W N R U D E. Uh, Twitter, Sean Rude, Sean Rude Boy with the I. S H A W N R U D B O I. And um yeah, on SoundCloud, Sean Rude. Um YouTube, Sean Rude. So yeah, everything just type in Sean Rude, I'll pop up. Pandora, Spotify, all that. Nice. And guys, just in case you didn't get those links, I actually have those in the uh description of this episode so all you have to do is click the links um there's even a website uh rudemob.com that's r-u-d-e-m-o-b-b.com all right man we appreciate your time man and uh kicking man, the freestyle as well y'all. as the hot single bro i Definitely. appreciate y'all man i appreciate y'all for having me on here man shout out to this running radio man for real hey we appreciate that Hey, man, have a good one, man. Hopefully we catch up with you uh, soon, man. Uh, when you pump out another single, I'll let us, man. We'll give it some play. I appreciate you, bro. I'll sure work keep in touch. Yes, sir. All right, bro. Thank you, my Vigilantes family, as always, for checking out my podcast over here at Vigilantes Radio. All episodes are available for free download, and you can grab that from either Spricker.com forward slash only one media group, iTunes, YouTube, any app that's on a Google Play or iTunes store or our website. And that goes from every single episode that we've ever aired. If you'd like to request music or a particular guest or send something for me to play, email it to the radio at only one media group dot com. If it's music, please label it by artist and title. Here's my disclaimer. We are genre free. We do not judge and we absolutely do not base our opinions on hearsay, but facts alone. And actually, you can scratch all of that because all of my opinions are always right. That's the bottom line. This is my show. So deal with it. (laughs) Nah, just kidding. On behalf of myself, Danny Mussolini, I appreciate all you guys for tuning in either afterwards or live with us. Spread the word because sharing is caring. We stepped up our game just for you guys and our guests to make sure that you have the best experience here on our show. Be sure to connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, as well as Spricker. We always follow back. That is the number one rule. Okay, well, just remember to be yourself and be absolutely great at just doing that. Avoid being too comfortable because you're messing with your potential when you do that. Peace and have a good night.
You are now listening to Vigilantes Radio, the people's choice for quality interviews, art, music, and hot topics. Hosted by Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds, of the duo No Longer the Hero. All episodes of this podcast are available for free download at www.onlyonemediagroup.com. This is a seventh sign regime, Rebirth Worldwide Syndicate exclusive. 